The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We've got a full week this week, folks. So today we have Tim Boss. Tomorrow we're going to have a new guest, J.C. Parrots, a young man from All Star Charts. He happens to be a friend of our good friend Jim Bartolioni, and uh, so he's going to be on on Tuesday. Wednesday we're going to have Shane Smolian. Thursday we're going to have none other than Paula Douglas, and Friday we're going to have a surprise mystery guest. Uh, translated, I haven't picked anybody yet. Okay, now let's take a look at some of these markets. I posted the charts for the uh, FTSE and also for the German DAX. You see they have a uh, relatively uh, small downtrend uh, forming possibly, but there's no really big trend in sight. They've been in this really tight consolidation lane range for quite some time. Now the German market, uh, that has been down you know, a lot more than the FTSE. And so that's, I think that's an important con concept. Now, folks, today is Columbus Day, and I have to tell you the story about uh, Columbus. I know you most of you think that he discovered America. Frankly, since all the archaeological stuff has been uh, found over the last 50 or 60 years, they know that, that somebody was here back in the uh, 12th and 13th century because they built structures that uh, were very similar to what was built in Europe. So they don't know the exact reason, but he gets the, he gets the accolades for it. Well, Columbus... Uh, of course, was an Italian, and he was uh, uh, convinced the the Queen of Spain to do, uh, do this expedition. And of course, they were looking for China, and they found the U.S. And so, when he came back, he was accoladed as a you know a big hero. They had all just like John Glenn, almost exactly like John Glenn, all kinds of things. And and they had this big dinner for him. And of course, he had some detractors. Of course, anybody, you know, we Italians, we always get beat up on. Anyway, uh, they were saying, hey, look, you were nothing but a chubby little Italian boy that got lucky with a westerly wind and found some, uh, some strange land. He said, that's really what it's all about. And with that, Columbus stood up and he reached into a basket at this big dinner that they were having. And inside the basket was an egg. And he picked up the egg and he asked the people to take the egg and stand it up on its end so that it would stand by itself. And, of course, the egg being elliptical – it wouldn't stand up. So Columbus picked up the egg. He tapped on the egg being hard boiled and it stood straight up. And he said, you see how easy something is once someone shows you how to do it? Well, folks, Peter Lighty showed me that about 40 years ago, that joke. And I, well, that little thing. And uh, one of my students, I'm sure he's listening from Italy today, uh, gave me a beautiful lithograph of this, uh, this whole process that was going on at the, uh, at the dinner for Columbus back in uh, the early in 1500 or something, whatever it was. Anyway, uh, the reason why I bring this up is when I gave my first speech in China in 1996, I was at the Beijing University. I had about 350 graduate students in economics and architecture and a few other disciplines in there. And I was a little nervous, of course, but I've talked so much over the years that it really didn't bother me too much. But uh, I was trying to warm up the crowd, and uh, there was a, a couple of uh, really uh, nice-looking Chinese girls in the first row, you know, 18, 19. Well, they're in their 20s now because they're grad students. And this one girl was dressed in the typical black long dress uh, Chinese uh, outfit and the the backboard behind me was uh, covered with chalk they didn't clean the darn thing and there was a chalk eraser there just filled with uh, with chalk on it so I picked up this eraser and I was trying to be funny and I said you see this eraser he said uh, if I toss this on you I said you're going to it's going to show all over your dress and it didn't get, I mean, it was total silence. And the proctor, the lady was doing the interpreter there, uh, said, that's not very funny here. And I, and I said, okay, you're going to explain to me why. He said, well, she falls asleep in this class. She gets kicked out of school. 
And I said, oh, my God. I said, I didn't realize it was too bad. So I get, I'm a little under a little pressure then, right? So I'm going to pull my last trick out of my bag, which is my uh, egg of Columbus trick. And as soon as I got the egg out and started to say, everybody started laughing. I said, oh, my God, this is a disaster day. So I looked over. And I said, what's going on around? He says, we learned that in the fifth grade. And I said, well, it's going to be down. I said to myself, it's going to be downhill from there. Anyway, it turned out to, to be pretty good. But that's my story of the Ega Columbus, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, let's remind ourselves, folks, something really big is happening here in these markets, and it's not getting very much press. It's a holiday because the banks are closed. But what we want to look at here is this market that has been very bearish for a long time. We've been super bearish, these Treasury bonds and Treasury notes. And you can see they are going down. They gapped, they gapped down again last night. Now, the reason for the big rally in the stock market was due to what happened at the Hang Seng Index. The Hang Seng, the Dow was down about 200 points at one time last night. The S&P down about 25 handles and about 150 handles in the NASDAQ. But what happened is China came out and said that they were going to relax some of those technical things that they were doing over there. And so the Hang Seng opened up 3 and 3.8 percent. It closed to be up 1.9 percent. But that huge gap like that was part of the reason for the stock market, you know, rally early, uh, early today. And it, hey, maybe it's going to go up forever. I don't know. But that's just a couple of things that I was watching this morning that I thought were was going to be, you know, very, 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 very important. So uh, remember, I'm a technician. I don't really follow the news. I just see how the market reacts to the news. But when you see a gap up that big, 3%, folks, a 3% gap in the in the S&P would be 140 handles. Now, if we saw that, that would be in the news. Now, we don't see gaps like that because our markets are larger and more fluid than they are over there. But those are just some of the things that we want to you know pay attention to as we're looking at some of the things. The other thing that's happening now, folks, and it's in the news, and that is the fact our good friends at Goldman Sachs, again, are looking for much, much higher gold prices, crude oil prices, Larry, crude oil prices. If you remember back in uh, – 2000 and the uh, 2010 a 2008 when the crude was at 144 dollars the uh, uh, Goldman Sachs came out with a special report saying it's going to go to 200 dollars now folks I have nothing against uh, Goldman Sachs they have been doing this kind of stuff since they were founded 100 and some years ago so don't be surprised by it at all remember if you've ever read the book of reminiscences of a stock operator. There's a great story in there. There was an old trader there called Old Westlake. And Old Westlake used to come in, oh, once or twice a week, and he would give his tips. And every one of his tips would fail. And the, the traders were saying, oh, my God, here comes Old Westlake with a terrible idea again. And Livermore said, oh, my God, take him to breakfast. I said, all of his tips work. He said, how can you say that? He said, you just have to do the opposite of what he's saying. And that's true. So sometimes you take the opposite of what I'm doing. Sometimes you say what I'm doing. The problem is I don't know which ones work and which ones don't. That's the bottom line. Now, speaking of that, we have a situation that's in the news. I mean, it is in the news all the time. And that is about this coming energy crisis that we have. And they're now talking about not $80 uh, crude oil, but they're talking about $100 crude oil again. So when you see this stuff in the news, you've got to be very, very careful. That's what we're trying to do. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to uh, move over to the foreign exchange markets here today because we are getting very, very close to a significant spot here in the U.S. dollar. And I'll get this up here so you'll be able to see it. I know you hear a lot of things in the news about the, uh, the collapse of the U.S. dollar. It's not going to go anywhere but down. And, you know, that, that, may, be, that may be the case. But right now what we're in is a little tiny bit of a rally. And we still are looking at this level right near 94, uh, 94, 99, 95. We're trading at 94 and change right now, slight change, 94, 12. But we need to watch this for the main reason is the fact if we turn around and look at this uh, euro, and I'm not going to post the euro chart or the Canadian or the Australian because uh, those are those are available at the 24/7. Folks has some beautiful patterns today in the Australian dollar and Canadian dollar, but the euro is not there yet. We know that the euro has got a chance for one more move down, and we're waiting to see uh, if we get that. Now, last night, on Sunday afternoon, uh, early Sunday afternoon, I sent out a special video on the crude oil complex because of my feelings behind. You know what I'm seeing in the news, and the fact that the way the patterns are forming, and we looked at the uh, the fact that we're going, we're probably going to see new highs this week in crude oil, natural gas, crude oil, <laughs> crude oil, gasoline futures, and also the heating oil. And we we certainly did that. But the one that we focused on, which is our trading one that we like the most, is the crude oil. And uh, in that video, it, it was a beautiful, uh, beautiful pattern there. A B C D. You can check it out yourself. And uh, it was setting right there at $82 a barrel, which was up a little more than $2 a barrel. We expected it to be up over the weekend due to all the news that's coming out that we get that last little boost up to 82 and we got to 82 and since that time we broke a dollar 20 we're still trading a dollar under that price so there's a possibility here and that's what i'm saying a possibility we might be looking at a high in crude oil today so uh let's uh let's watch that now any move above 
uh, 82 would say, oh, no, no, we're probably going to go up to 83 or at least 84. But the other one that we were watching was the gasoline contract. Uh, it made a nice ABCD, but didn't extend. I mean, it didn't quite make the actual the actual way of uh, looking at it. So that's the main thing of what we're what we're paying attention to here in some of these markets. Folks, when you see explosive moves like we see on the opening today in these stock indices, most of that is short covering and algorithmic trading. And, and when you see those wide bars, uh, even on a five or 10 minute chart, don't stand in front of those folks because that is momentum in its highest form and you just literally would get run over uh, if you can. You know, we were down quite a bit earlier in the evening, but then when the uh, Hong Kong stuff started to come out, then you saw the market uh, started to rally. And then right before the open, as soon as we got unchanged on the day, it was apparent that we were probably going to get a little bit more of a rally. And in fact, we have uh, certainly done that. Now, I really need you to remember that what we're watching here in these Treasury bonds, I'm switching back to the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes here. Uh, the question is, Mr. Z, at 4397, do you see any... Yes, there was a there was a 78 percent retracement up there at uh, 4402, I believe. Uh, Mr. Z is what we were looking at uh, as a point for uh, or some resistance, of course. But uh, I, I think if you're not short this market, you're you're doing a big disservice to yourself because, folks, I went through all these charts and I can't find any chart that I would actually buy anything from. I don't look at a lot of charts, but uh, those stock indices, I mean, you know, they had a nice pullback to the 50 percent level. Well, last night at 43.52, and I certainly saw that there was a nice little ABCD there and everything. And uh, but the problem is, you know, this these charts that I'm looking at, all the Nasdaq charts, and let's not let's rephrase that, all the Fang stocks that I'm looking at. I mean, all of them are bearish. I mean, the most the most bearish of them all is Facebook. My goodness, I, I'll just share this one with you. I mean, you want to see a bearish chart, and you're going to see one here. Hold on one second here. It'll only take me a second to bring this up, but. Boy, let me tell you, the 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 Facebook chart is, I, I would I don't see any reason to be a buyer of this now. It might be up the limit today, but let's just look at see where we are and now. Now it's doing not very little. Hold on one second here. I can get this up. To it's got a little too much uh, stuff in here. This is the one. There's where we are here. Let me get rid of this out here. Uh, I got a little. I'm trying to move this around so we can still see my notation. There's where we are. Hold on a second here. Okay, here's the Facebook chart. Let's get this up here. We'll look at it together here. That's not right, Larry. Hold on just a minute here. Hold on just a second. Okay, you'll notice the four-day rally that uh, – we had back in uh, late September that couldn't even make a 382 retracement. And what we have last week on, on Thursday, we had a 382 retracement, another four day rally, four day rally, four day rally. And I believe it's down today. It is. It's down today. I mean, in an up market, this is this is a bearish stock, folks. I mean, I, I hate to tell Mr. Zuckerberg he might lose a you know a couple hundred thousand dollars on this if he stays long all of his all of his stock that he has. But anyway, that's what I'm paying attention to here. And if you go through all of those Fang stocks, you'll see that you, I can't find a bullish one in the group. And the only one that's really bullish, well, you know, you can't really say Google isn't, but. Uh, we certainly know Amazon's not bullish, but if we take a look at Netflix, Netflix completed a big. Let's just do Netflix too, because that's another one that that is uh, very very interesting because it just completed all of the big A B C D patterns up here, and it it is up a little bit today, which is not unusual because it's the the big daddy rabbit. But let's get this up here. You'll be able to see here where you go. <clears throat> Here, there's the big ABCD up there at uh, 649. We're trading around 636 today. So those are just a couple of them. And if you go through all of them, I mean, some of them just look just looks absolutely horrible. Even the the bullish one. This this was this is Google. You'll be able to see it here. Just one second here. Google is still in a downtrend. All it's done today is take out Friday's high uh, right at the. Uh, 61% level. So that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm paying attention to right now. So I hope that means something. Now, someone's asked a question about the uh, cryptocurrencies. I'm going to leave some of that to our good friend, Mr. Tim Bost, who will be coming on. He's been hitting those things pretty good, boy. So like they say, uh, if you want to go to the dance, 
find the girl that you want to take and stick with it and do the dances with her. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have Tim Bost talk to us about the cryptos a little bit and uh, see how they're acting. But, you know, we've got, um, I saw today, Bitcoin above uh, 56,000, folks. Remember, just a few weeks ago at the 382, we were trading at 28,000. It's doubled in price. And bubbles don't act like that, folks. I mean, bubbles don't last, you know, from 19 from 2017 to 2021 i mean this is a major thing i don't know what these things are about it's over my pay grade but something big is happening in those things so sort of pay attention to it i th i think you have to because uh, you know i didn't know anything about tulip bulbs when i invested in those back in the 15th century but you know luckily i got out before the market topped and uh, if you still believe that, boys and girls, I'm just joking because I'm not really that old. Some days I feel that old, but actually doing okay for considering all the stuff that's uh, happened over the last 80-some years. Anyway, this has been uh, you know, a heck of a run here, and I hope we can continue uh, doing it. We need to pay very, very close attention to these foreign exchange things, folks. Very important. We'll be right back with Tim Bost. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <clears throat> 
Okay, folks, I believe we have fortunately been able to contact the trans-Neptunian devil himself, Tim Boss. Tim, how are you today? Well, guess I lost him on that comment. Ah, oh, gee, I hope I didn't screw up again. Anyway, the problem was last time I forgot to tell him about the time change, but some they said he was here, and I certainly hope that he has been. Has uh, I've done that. I've uh, can TFNN help me help me out here a minute? Uh, they said he was uh, that Tim was in the room. I uh, don't uh, hear him. Tim, are you there? Broadsword to Danny boy. Broadsword to Danny boy. Come in, Danny boy. I see his slides, but I put those up, Jimbo. That I, I put those slides up. I don't know why he's not. Uh, he's on the line. TFNN is not connecting with me, so I'm not going to be. Uh, well, maybe I'm just going to continue talking here. We'll see what's going on. Well, I've lost some type of a connection here. Uh, let me double check. A broadsword to Danny Boy. Everybody, can you hear me, folks? Ten four, ten four. Come in. Okay, is, uh, yep, everybody can hear me okay, that's good. If anybody has any questions, uh, there is one line open, Al tells me. <laughs> Very, <laughs> Very good, Tucker. Tucker is mentioning that maybe Tim is having some trans-Neptunian trouble himself. That's a double, that's a double whammy of Mercury uh, retrograde, I think. So let's, uh, let's keep our uh, thing is going right here. Hey, I think we have our friend on the line now. Tim, how are uh, you doing? Do we have audio? Hello? Oh, we have audio. I introduced you as the trans-Neptunian devil. And we got disconnected. So I guess the the astro gods are punishing me. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> All right. Why don't you Whatever go ahead, my friend? Me, right? Okay. Good. We got. I got a bunch of questions, but let's go through the uh, let's go through your material. Then then I'll ask the questions for you Absolutely. if you don't mind. Absolutely, we'll answer for all all comers here today. We have uh, events coming up the next couple of days that are quite uh, uh, dramatic and exciting. We're dealing with our trans Neptunian friends here, Haiti. He's going retrograde tomorrow, and then Kronos on Wednesday will be going retrograde, kind of back-to-back -back phenomena uh, from these uh, trans-Neptunian uh, factors. And so that's what we're putting our focus on here, uh, especially for the next few trading days. And we're doing an in-depth webinar on this topic later today, in fact. I've been doing a lot of research here, very, very exciting uh, material to, to work with. Uh, so to, to put things in perspective here, as we look at trans-Neptunian factors, what we're actually concerned about are what we call the Kuiper Belt objects. Uh, the trans-Neptunians were uh, traditionally called hypotheticals because nobody had seen them until 1992 when some of the big space telescopes discovered this uh, donut-shaped uh, ring of tiny little rocks out in space, uh, out beyond wow. the orbits of the, of the solar system. So you know, here we are on Earth and, and uh, you know, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, all that's kind of the hole in the donut, so to speak, and the Kuiper Belt objects, there are thousands and thousands of them uh, out there, uh, most of them untraceable, but we've discovered that some of the early projections by the astrologers 100 years ago uh, were actually forecasting accurate orbits uh, for these guys. Uh, so there, there, there's something actually out there. We just want to confirm that. Um, but what we're interested mm -hmm. in, of in, of course, is their effect uh, on the markets. And uh, we look at a variety of markets uh, with them. I'm going to take a quick look here at Discovered here, and, and in fact, we've been working with this uh, gold uh, chart now for about seven or eight years when we first began to understand the relationship between the trans Neptunian factor Kronos uh, and uh, the Sun in uh, tracking uh, trend lines uh, for gold. And that uh, model has held up very, very well for us over the years. So that's kind of our go to uh, solution whenever we're trying to figure out what's happening with gold. Uh, and so, what we can see here is that uh, uh, based on this chart, this is a day or two too old. We've got uh, the, these Kronos uh, uh, planetary price lines in the fourth harmonic. Uh, the horizontal purple lines represent Kronos. The diagonal green lines are the positions of the sun. And whenever we get uh, uh, key uh, uh, meeting points of those lines, uh, typically something significant happens. What we're seeing right now is gold challenging uh, Kronos resistance uh, at uh, 1784.50. Uh, if it breaks uh, significantly above that, then we've uh, broken into a new channel there. And as you can see as well, 
the diagonal lines, uh, the gold has been trading in that sun uh, uh, channel for some time now. Uh, so that would represent a breakout of both channels if we get a big move upward in gold. Uh, right now, that resistance is holding pretty firm, but that's one of the reasons that we're interested in the fact that we have this uh, Kronos making a retrograde station on Wednesday of this week. Uh, this is what our back testing shows with Kronos retrograde stations uh, based on the uh, price action in gold. Uh, we've taken our historical with the gold market here and uh, analyzed it and uh, sliced and diced it, so to speak. This is the average uh, response from all the examples we have of, of the price of gold uh, trading uh, when there has been a Kronos retrograde station in the past. Uh, that zero point in the middle marks the date of the station it itself. To the left, we have the minus 10, minus 20, the previous calendar days. These are not trading days. And then to the right, all the way up through about 21 uh, calendar days after uh, the date of that station. And as you see, typically what we see is con a little bit of a, a bearish bias, a, a congested pattern going into the station. Uh, and then uh, right before that, we get a surge upward into the point of the station uh, itself. Uh, that uh, crossing point, the zero line and the horizontal line just below the S in stations, the final S there, is, is the, the date uh, that we're looking at. And then following that, we get a little bit of an upward move uh, and then a downward uh, swing after that. Uh, in studying this phenomenon, what we have found is uh, that the uh, even though the, the upward surge looks uh, far more dramatic here, uh, the selling pressure afterwards is much more uh, pr uh, predictable, much, much stronger. In fact, if we were to hold off here uh, with gold and wait until the uh, 21st of October, uh, that would be Thursday of, of next week, and, and sell short at that uh, position and then uh, cover on the 29th, uh, that has a 69.7% likelihood of being a successful trade to the short side uh, with an average uh, gain on that of about 2.5%, uh, uh, something like that. So that looks very tradable from our perspective uh, based on what we're studying with the Kronos effects on gold. Uh, so it's not only something that sets up these lines of support and resistance. When we get a phenomenon like this, uh, it's worth paying attention to. Well. We have a question from uh, uh, New Hampshire, and that is, uh, he's he's asking when when you're looking at these dates like October 11th or 12th. Now, are you you what you'll if it's going down, you'll look for a buy signal. If it's going up, you'll look for a sell signal. Is that what the interpretation is? Uh, basically, what we're looking at here, Larry, it depends on the individual market we're concerned with, uh, and we've done that. Back this is the gold market. Yeah, this, yeah, this is gold right here. And so, and with this picture here, uh, we've we, uh, that put a little arrow there. That says you are here. We're two days before the exact thing, so we would expect a little bit of a of, of a bearish uh, bias over the next 24 hours or so, and and then a surge to the upside leading into this phenomenon, uh, and uh, uh, going from from there. So these are uh, you know average reactions and of course we always try to trade what we see and if the market doesn't behave as we expect it to we back off and so it's as simple okay. as that <laughs> okay stay with us Tim we've got a bunch of questions today thank you very much Tim Boss sure. folks Financial Cycles Weekly be right back with cryptocurrencies Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with uh, Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, and we're on of our favorite subjects that I know absolutely nothing about is the <laughs> cryptocurrencies. But all I know is when it Kronos turns, this puppy runs like a goat. So, in the mountains. Anyway, this thing is really moving. It what? is indeed, isn't that? <laughs> yeah, it is. It certainly is. I mean, I, I'm, I'm recalling when we first started talking about crypto. I think it was back in February or so, and I said at the time it looks like we could hit a hundred thousand on this uh, sucker, and uh, that's still within range we're not quite there yet but yeah. uh, you, you don't mean today you mean by christmas right uh, yeah, exactly whatever yeah. <laughs> i'm going to look in my stocking and see what, what we get there <laughs> but uh, yeah. no we're, we're using a uh, chronos here and uh, venus uh, at, with our uh, eighth harmonic uh, projections uh, to track uh, bitcoin we found that it likes these venus channels uh, and, and current uh, trading uh, chronos once again provides those levels of Uh, uh, head upwards and pull back and head up again. Uh, the This chart goes back to about the 1st of August. So we just have a couple of months here uh, to examine uh, with the chart. Of course, uh, longer term, we see even bigger uh, price swings. Uh, but I'm liking the way that these uh, Kronos lines define the levels of support and resistance. We've had uh, a breakthrough through the uh, resistance zone at 55, 544. Uh, and uh, currently, let's see, uh, when I did the chart here about an hour ago, it was at 57,327. Uh, right now it's 57,475 or thereabouts. Uh, so we're wow. continuing to see a move upward here. Our next big target and the potential resistance is at $60,044. We have a ways to yeah. go yet. And of course, that's shy of the all-time high. But what's exciting wow. here about Bitcoin is what happens when we have a Kronos retrograde station, as we've got coming up day after day tomorrow. Uh -huh. And so, uh, of course, we have to add a caveat here. We only have a few years of trading history, about 10 years with Bitcoin. So this is, uh, you know, not totally scientific. Uh, we, if we had 50 years, we could go back and get uh, fine-tuned numbers. But so far, this is what the pattern looks like. When we get a chrono station, uh, this thing takes off like a rocket. And so uh, even though we've seen a lot, a pretty big increase uh, here, this is looking like it could be an additional 25-30% move 
on top of this if it responds according to this pattern. Of course, past performance doesn't guarantee future results, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> and use your own good judgment here. Uh, but we wow. believe this is a, a, a good uh, 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 bet for the long term here as well. Uh, wow. So what we're doing is exploring all of this in a lot more depth in our webinar here uh, later today. And we encourage oh, folks a, to. We have a web we have a webinar today. We do indeed. Four, uh, hour, half an hour after the market closes, 4.30 Eastern, okay. Uh, okay. we're doing a webinar, and we're going into a great deal of depth with multiple markets, looking at Bitcoin, gold, uh, the equities markets, uh, some international mm -hmm. things, uh, crude oil and whatnot, all uh, uh, want to be prepared to trade them effectively. We've done a lot of backtesting to develop trading strategies uh, with these uh, very specifically as well. Uh, so if you haven't connected already, uh, go to bit.ly slash Tim Larry P. That's all lowercase except for the initials T, L, and P. Those are capitals, and this is case sensitive. And we'll get you on the list uh, to get the information on the webinar. Uh, this is uh, There is a small tuition fee, but we're giving a 50% discount uh, to folks that connect through your link, Larry. So your listeners get special privileges. How's that? <laughs> and they, it comes with the usual money-back guarantee. Is that correct, Tim? Absolutely. If you're unhappy after the fact, let me know. And this we'll <laughs> <laughs> well, with this volatility, I mean, you've really been able to ro put a nice roadmap on most of these things. What I'd like to do, Tim, uh, be October being the month that it is, is have you on again towards the end of the end of the month, maybe maybe some around the 25th. Would you be able to join us then? Uh, that looks like a possibility. Have you got the 26th? I'm seeing a doctor's appointment, 25th there, actually. Um, well, wait, well, how about the 26th? 26 looks good that Tuesday. Okay, yeah. let's do that. We're going to have you on All again. Right. Of course, October October being as wild as it is, probably has some new stuff there. But well, we certainly everything will be blowing this, up for uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the statement here, either up or down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That, that's what hey. keeps us entertained, gets us out of bed in the morning, right? <laughs> amen, amen. Anyway, if you will, uh, you know, stay with us again. We really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. It was really great having you again. Thanks, and we're glad we got all the technical challenges uh, surmounted here and yeah. actually able to talk to each other. It's a whole yes, lot better than smoke signals. <laughs> I, next time I'll remind you myself a couple of times that I should tell you when the, the it was an hour early as opposed to the regular time. Well, yeah, right. we do this daylight yeah. savings time. That's hard enough, but you, you make it even yeah. more interesting, my friend. <laughs> so have a good one. Take care. All right. One of the reasons I moved to Arizona is they don't have daylight savings time. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, Tim. We'll see you later, buddy. All right. Tip thanks. Boss, folks, Financial Cycles Weekly. Check him. Uh, he's got a webinar uh, today at the end of the day. So if you're interested in it, it's nice. He gives great information. And, of course, it's uh, it's free, which is always a good price. Now, uh, we are p watching some of these markets. Well, we're watching all of them very closely. But the ones that are really uh, have our interest strongly are the crude oil markets because we hit that major pattern up there at $82 a barrel today. We're now a dollar barrel under at 81.10 uh, we're having lower highs here uh, in the stock market so but hasn't really done very much had that big short covering rally earlier and so we'll find out what's going to be happening with that but be watching it those of you that are in the foreign foreign exchange markets pay very very close attention i posted that chart and it's worth posting again here because it's that important because of the fact for two reasons let me get it up here and hey, I'm, I'm just an old uh, featherweight from Terre Haute, Indiana, trying to find out what these patterns mean. But when you see a market uh, like this one here in the U.S. dollar that has taken nine months uh, to complete a 382 retracement, folks, that is not a sign of strength. Go back to 2017 when we made a bottom. Look how quickly that market came out of there like a rocket. Go back to 2011. How the market came and go back to 2011 when the king of all this stuff, Mr. Tom O'Brien, coined the words King Dalla when it was at 73. It went from 73 to 104, 104 down to 89, 89 back to 104. But why did it take nine months to make the 382 retracement? And ah, therein lies the rub. We have to pay attention to this. Now, two things will probably happen. The U.S. dollar will start to weaken because people will realize that we are $28 trillion in debt. Sarah's little grandson, 10 years old, uh, 
posed the question to his grandma yesterday, the fact that he knew that the government was $28 trillion in debt. When I was 10 years old, the only thing, the only thing that I knew is that Willie Mays had hit his 30th home run halfway through the season. That's the only thing I remember when I was 10 years old. But anyway, these are just numbers, folks. we got to focus on these. They're very, very important, and I think that's uh, that's going to be the, the telltale tale for the last four months, of, last four months of year, October, November, December. The last three months of the year will be focused on these uh, treasury bonds, treasury notes, and the U.S. dollar. I think that's what's going to be it. By the way, those of you, I'm a big Willie Mays. Uh, oh, please uh, show your oil chart. Uh it's in the newsletter, Mr. Z. I will try to pull it up here for you if I can. If not, it's right in the newsletter there in the first section. Uh, I think we'll be able to do it. I think I'll be able to get it up here in just a second here at the break. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted the charts that I think were the most important today. I did post up the chart for the crude oil. Uh, it's a four-hour chart with uh, Mr. Z asked about that. That's what I was looking for. You can see the uh, three-drive pattern that we had there. We had that same pattern in the heating oil and also in the natural gas. The reason why I focused on that this week is because of the fact that Goldman Sachs is out there with their trumpet again. And uh, anytime Goldman Sachs says something, folks, be very, very careful. It's not that they're 
uh, they're not they're not well I don't I don't all I can tell you is just be careful they have a tendency to be uh, uh, on the other side of some of these trades we saw this in the uh, if you remember the uh, the housing market thing that was troubled you know that's where secretary uh, Mnuchin make all his money and they were they were selling these things to the people and they they knew they were no good I mean so you gotta you gotta you know do the due diligence yourself all I do is I look at the news when I hear it from Europe and I hear it from Asia and I hear it from the United States that there's this giant uh, oil supply problem that's uh, everybody's going to be standing in lines like we were in 1973 I say oh well maybe I better look at the other side and if I see a little pattern there that looks like it's tradable, that's what I'm interested in. So take a look at that. Remember, folks, they've done the same thing to us in natural gas. They didn't do it to us because we, we didn't fall for the trap. But the natural gas has gone from, uh, you know, 364 to uh, 530. You know, that's a drop of, uh, you know, $21,000 in a matter of, uh, you know, six or seven trading days. So that tells you that that market is, uh, the bull market in that one is over. So there's again where the, the, the news was following the trend. Somebody knew something ahead of time. So that's what we try to do here is to give you a little bit of edge by looking at the patterns. Now, do they work all the time? Of course not. Nothing does. But uh, what we do is to try to limit the risk of the things we are looking at. And so pay attention to that. I particularly liked uh, Tim's comment about the gold here. We're trading at 1758. We got as high as. Uh, 1782 on Friday we dropped to over 30 bucks. So what I'm watching for is that we get one more jab down to that 1742 level. Could be very very interesting in the gold. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. 